Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is going to be a quick video. Um, I kind of did something cool in my opinion, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, I will be doing a full in-depth tutorial on this system once I have it all down packed. But for now, I'm just going to kind of show you guys um, what it is. So, I've been working on the player house, which is going to be the house that you can buy in uh, their heart and decorate to your heart's content. Um, so I kind of have like the basic template of that system down. So I kind of, you know, wanted to share with you guys. So you start off, you get a whole bunch of items. Um, so you have your items over here, like small chair, small table, blah, blah, blah. And then let's say, for example, I want to place my bed over here. I have to hit that. Uh, bed top one. And bed one bottom. There goes my bed. If I want to place a stove over here, then I want to place a sink over here. Now let's also place a small table as well as a small chair. So um, now it's not really anything hard to do. It's actually pretty simple. Um, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did that. So it all starts off with um, the editor. Um, which is pretty much a blank if well not really a blank event it's an event um, transparent and then I have it custom move root and it's always jump into player um, so all this event does is just stays on top of the player and then I set the trigger to action and I set the priority to below character so every time you interact with the event it's gonna ask you place item and then it's gonna show you um, the item selector which whatever item you pick the id of that item gets stored in variable nine um, and then no matter what direction you're facing this will spawn that event in front of the player so if you're facing up it will spawn it in front of you up if you're facing left it's going to spawn it in front of you left um, and then this script call right here removes the item so party um, game party dot gain item um, and then whatever that item is that's stored on variable ID nine um, it gets removed when, you know you subtract one by it. so if you have multiple chairs you will lose one of those chairs um, and then it set the house item place ID back to zero and then also set house items to zero which is that um, variable that your items get stored in right so that's all this does and it does call a common event which handles setting the IDs um, base, which pretty much sets the item ID to the event ID that needs to be spawned. Um, this doesn't do anything over here but just give you those items and erase it to, erases itself. Um, so if we go into common event, we can go back to house ID. So all this is doing is if you pick again this is that variable um, 9 that stores all the items that you, that stores whatever item that you pick so if you pick item ID uh, 115 then it's gonna set house item place ID to 39 and these 39 40 41 pretty much corresponds to the event ID in my spawn map so the chairs are 39 uh, small table is a 40 and so forth and then again, all this is doing is it's spawning the uh, the house item place ID, which is the event ID from the spawn map, and then it's placing it in front of the player. Um, and then to get that ID is pretty much how you know what all this this is doing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will be doing a, a full in-depth tutorial once I have everything down packed. But I kind of thought it was cool, so I wanted to share that with you guys um, briefly. If you guys kind of understand it, you could implement it in your own games. But if not, leave a comment down below. And again, I will be explaining it in full detail once I have everything um, polished out. But without further ado, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you did not like it. Um, and also hit that bell notification icon just to be updated every time I release a new video. Uh, I do have new music out. Link is down below. And that's pretty much it. Peace.